Good evening, it's Tuesday, August 31st, 2021. It's a comfortable 80 degrees or so right now, following strong storms that blew through the area this morning. As it was raining heavy, and it seemed like I was dodging lightning bolts on my way to work this morning. And sometimes I've even referred to this place as little pipe stem. And as we're seeing the rapid convergence of so many Bible prophecies, even so, come Lord Jesus. And by the way, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe, as I tend to forget to mention that. But would like to get that invitation out there today and starting out in the area of the goldenrod cabins as we take a look at some verses from first Timothy chapter 4 now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving, of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. And these are wild strawberry cabins. Taking a look at 2 Timothy 3, starting in verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away, and looking at 2 Timothy 3, verse 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And this is all part of that falling away that our society has undergone. In recent decades, and especially so rapidly in recent years and months. And in that little valley are the five ponds collectively referred to as Crawdad Creek. As many of you might recognize those ponds which flow into Jenny Newman Lake. And earlier this month that's the area where I started the video, Humble in Thy Spirit. Feel free to also check out that video if you like. And now moving along to 2 Timothy chapter 4. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge, 
the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove. Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. And obviously, we've been seeing this happen for many years now, and with growing intensity. Just as the Bible predicted many years ago. And now taking a look at 1 Peter 4 and verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. And that's another reminder to be watching and praying, especially in our current generation. As the Bible makes it clear that ours is the generation, the generation that saw Israel become a nation again in 1948 that will also experience this fulfillment of Bible prophecy and now moving along to 2nd Peter chapter 3 starting in verse 3 knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And clearly we can see that even this happening is fulfillment of Scripture. And moving along with verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And now taking a look at Jude 1, verses 18 to 21. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And this is the amphitheater. They have weddings and a variety of events here. And this also makes an excellent place for outdoor church services. And now let's take a look at 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. In verses 13 through 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. 
For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. And these are red cedar cabins, by the way, as we continue on with verse 15. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. And asleep in this, in this passage refers to those who have already gone on to be with the Lord. As a Christian, those who are right with the Lord, who are saved, the Bible tells us to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. This is not to be confused with asleep in reference to those who are lukewarm and those who don't care. And I apologize that from time to time insects keep getting in the way of the camera. And now looking at verses 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And now looking at 1 Thessalonians 5, starting in verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And this is Stone Creek which seems pretty healthy from the storms that we had this morning.
And by the way, Bible prophecy isn't to scare, but to prepare. And moving along, as we take a look at some verses from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So after the rapture takes place, many will be deceived by worldly explanations. And God will allow them to be deceived. Taking a look at Daniel 12. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, Thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Also taking a look at Daniel 12 and verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So as Daniel, along with many Old Testament prophets and even the New Testament prophets, but in this case, Daniel, was curious to know more than what God wanted to share as so many of the prophecies were meant not to be understood in Daniel's time but in our time the time of the end and gonna walk across Stone Creek here and now looking at Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, none or ever shall be. And Matthew 24, and verses 32 through 34. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh so likewise ye 
when you shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. And by the way, that railroad is just this side of Platte River. And taking a look at Psalm 90 verse 10 for some guidance on what God refers to as a generation. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. So referring back to the parable of the fig tree generation and Israel having become a nation again in 1948, adding 80 years to get 2028 and subtracting seven years, which brings us to 2021. And there's another peak at Platte River through the trees. Turning to Habakkuk 2, in verses 1 through 4. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. And by the way, my most recent video of climbing this tower was Redemption Draweth Nigh, which I recorded here earlier this month. But of course we can do it again real quick. This tower having been built in 1982 when this became a state park. And now taking a look at Titus 2, verses 11 through 14. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. And we're living in a time more than ever when many people are not very bold about their faith anymore. And a lot of that is because of the concepts about 
not mixing religion, politics. But we're still to put God first in our lives and not deny his name. And it's slightly breezy up here right now. And there's a train going by below. You might be able to see the train following the river. And now taking a look at Amos 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And turning to Joel 2. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood, fire, and pillars of smoke. And by the way, it's been a very strange year with so many signs intensifying as we're waiting on the rapture we know that the timing will be perfect and totally in God's hands as Jesus and the words of the scripture make it clear of what to watch for and there's a little patch of sun trying to come through above that tree so we take a look at Revelation 3 3 remember how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So obviously that makes it clear that we were meant to know when the time is very near. As it is now. By the way, there's a few turkeys. I kind of had to catch that opportunity as it presented itself and by the way this is the wild turkey cabins section which is on the northeastern part of the main park and these smaller cabins are whitetail cabins and they're not air conditioned and we're nearing the eastern end of the park road. There's another section of the park on the other side of Decker Creek, which features mainly bike trails. In verse 5, He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. taking a look at Revelation 3 8 I know thy works behold I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name and looking at verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience I also 
will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And taking a look at Revelation 4 and verses 1 and 2. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be here after. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven. And one sat on the throne. This is 2021. The last two verses in the Bible are 20 and 21. As in Revelation 22, verses 20 and 21. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.